Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do my July wrap up. So in the month of July, I read a total of 15 books. Uh, so very successful reading month. I was very, very pleased with every single book I read this month. So I'm excited to talk about them with you guys. And let's just jump right in and get started. So the first book I read this month was a book I could review with the author. So thank you so much to this author for sending me this book. And that is Facade. This is, or Facade. I think it's Facade. This is by NM Uko, which I'm so sorry for pushing that name wrong. This is a YA contemporary novel that takes place in Boston, my home city, so yay! Um, and the author also happens to be from Boston, so. Anyways, it is a YA uh, contemporary novel, like I said. This is a, follows our main character, Emma, and she is an aspiring actress. She just graduated high school, and she is trying to figure out how to tell her parents that she does not want to go to college. She just wants to jump right into the showbiz. All this is going on she meets a boy and they fall in love and the story takes off from there it's a very very short book it's very good i highly recommend you guys check this out i give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars the next three books i read this month are all part of the same series so the first book i read was the mark of athena this is book three in heroes of olympus series by rick Riordan. this is a series i have kind of read over the course of a few months i started it back in february and then just finished it now so it's been a while since i for like first started it but I really did enjoy this series this is the third book like I said this book was really really good we get to see a very strong female ca main character really enjoy it and gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars then I continue on with that series I finished the House of Hades book 4 which I gave it 5 out of 5 stars this is my favorite book in the series by far also might be my favorite book I read by Rick Riordan as of right now and then I can finish off that series by reading The Beloved Olympus, which is book five. This is another five star read for me. Really, really enjoy this book and the series. This is a spin off of Percy Jackson's series. If you guys have read that series, I think you would really, really enjoy the series as well. And then we move on to the next book, which is uh, called Vital Spark. This is by Leah Devlin. This is a uh, young adult mystery slash historical fiction book that involves pirates. It follows our main character. Her name is Alex. She has been working in D.C. for a while and she gets a job in her hometown in Maryland as a marine ecologist. And when she moves back there, she decides to surprise her grandfather with the great news. However, when she arrives, she finds her grandfather has been murdered and takes off from there. Personally, I was not a huge fan of this book. I give this book a 2.5 out of 5 stars. It wasn't my favorite. It is the first book in the series and I think I am going to continue on with it. Because the ending of this book was well worth continuing on in my opinion. Um, but we shall see. Then we have the next three books, which are also part of the same series, and those are the first three books in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. So we have City of Bones, which I gave a 4 out of 5 stars, City of Ashes, which I gave a 3.5 out of 5 stars, and City Glass, which I gave a 4.5 out of 5 stars. This is a YA paranormal series that follows uh, shadow hunters who are trained to uh, kill demons. and. It follows our, our main character, her name is Clary, and she discovers she's a shadow hunter when it's been hidden all of her life, and it kind of takes off from there. This is a pretty well-known series here on BookTube. It's also a TV show. I am so glad I jumped into the story. I really, really did enjoy it, and I gave, like I said, all the readers, I like City of Bones, I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. City of Ashes, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars, and then City of Glass, I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was another book I got sent to you for review by the author, and that book is the Use the Force, The Giant's Guide to, a Law, to the Law of Attraction by Joshua P. Warren. This is a nonfiction book that compares everything in Star Wars to the Law of Attraction, which I found very interesting. I didn't know what to expect going on. I kind of just, when I got contacted about this book for review, I was like, oh, Star Wars, just sign me up. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I think I've talked about that in a couple of videos. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. So whenever I hear Star Wars, I'm like, give me, just give, give me it all right now. <laughs> so I really did enjoy this book. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. If this sounds like something you guys might be interested in, I would recommend checking it out. So now we get into the books, or actually I have one last book to talk about real quick. And that book is The Disappearances by Emily Bain Murphy. This is the Cruise Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of July. This is a magical realism slash mystery book. That follows our main character, Aaliyah, and she has just lost her mother and her father has been drafted into World War II. And then her and her brother Miles move back to her mother's hometown of Sterling, Connecticut. So this is another book that takes place in New England, so yay. Uh, this 
is a very interesting book. I typically don't like magical realism books. They're personally not my cup of tea, but there is a mystery element of this, and that is the town has been put under a curse. So every seven years, something disappears from the town. It started off with reflections and colors and scents, so on and so forth. That's what made it interesting and what really gripped me about the story. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of magical realism, but with the mystery included, I think it made the story really come together as a whole. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. So now the last five books I have to talk about are all books I read for Bookchubathon, which I vlogged the entire week. I will link those vlogs down below if you guys would like to check those out. So the first book I read for Bookchubathon was Truth Witches by Susan Denard. This is a YA fantasy series that follows two best friends who are both witches. One of them is a truth witch, which means she can tell it whether people are telling the truth or they are lying. And they, that kind of witch is a very sought after witch. And the other witch is a uh, third witch, which means she can see the connections between people. I think this book was a little bit overhyped. This book is, a, or this entire series, the second book just came out, I think, back in March or April. Um, it's very popular here on BookTube. But personally, wasn't my favorite book I read. I ended up giving this book a 3.5 out of 5 stars, but I do plan on continuing on with the series, and hopefully it does get better for me. Um, whole, I'm crossing my fingers it does. The next book I read for Bookchubathon was a classic, and that is Animal Farm by uh, George Orwell. This is a classic dystopian novel, involves animals. I'm sure you guys have all heard of this book at one point. I really, really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. It's probably my favorite classic I've read up to this point. Just really, really recommend. The next two books I read for Book to were both middle grades. So the first book I read was Loki's Wolves. This is by Kayla Armstrong and M.A. Marr. If you guys are a fan of Percy Jackson or any of Rick Riordan's books, I think you would really, really, really like this. This is kind of like Percy Jackson meets Norse mythology. This follows our main character, Matt, and he's a descendant of Thor. And him and his two cousins, their names are Fen and Lori. They team up to kind of uh, and Finn and Lori are also descendants of Loki, and they team up to stop the end of the world, so I really enjoyed this book. I give it 3.5 out of 5 stars, which is, go check this series out. It was the first book out. This is the first book in a trilogy, I believe, so really, really recommend. The next book I read for Book to be Fun was Ursi, A Wizard of Ursi by Ursula K. Le Guin. This is a, another middle grade fantasy novel that kind of, it's kind of similar to Harry Potter. When my uh, uncle gave me this for Christmas last year, he said, anybody who's a fan of Harry Potter would probably like this book. I'm like, give it to me right now. <laughs> so I really did enjoy this book. It's more action adventure than kind of magic based, which is completely fine. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Um, if you are a Harry Potter fan, I'd probably check this out. I would recommend this book. And the last book I read this month as well as for Bertuathon was The Crowns of Croswell. This is by D.E. Knight. This is a book I got sent to for review from NetGalley, so thank you so much to NetGalley for sending me this book. This is another uh, YA fantasy series that follows our main character, Ivy, who goes to a magical school um, and kind of trains to be a witch. It's very similar to Harry Potter, but I, it's worth the read. I know a lot of people, I saw when this book was first coming around on BookTube, I saw a lot of people unboxing arcs of this, so this is kind of what inspired me to get asked for an advanced reader's copy on NetGalley, and I was thankfully approved. I'm so glad I did read it. It's well worth the read. I give this book a 4 out of 5 stars and I highly recommend you guys go check it out. It just came out I think last week so yay. And that's all I'm going to have for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. Also be sure to check out all the vlogs that I did for Booktube on last week. They're all linked down below as always. As well as all my social media, my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and blog are all linked down below if you guys would like to follow me on any of those. And with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!